All right, in this short demo, we're gonna show you how to convert the house prices Kaggle competition into a Kubeflow pipeline. We're going to prepare the environment. We're gonna install the Kubeflow pipeline SDK. We're gonna import the required uh, pipeline packages. We're gonna build pipeline components. Then we'll create the pipeline function. And then finally, we'll run the pipeline using the kfp.client instance. Okay, let's get started. All right, assuming that you've already installed Kubeflow, you wanna be in the notebooks view, click new notebook, and we're gonna give our notebook a name, nothing too fancy, we're just gonna call it House Prices uh, KFP, KFP standing for Kubeflow Pipeline. Click the launch button, and once that notebook is up and running, we're ready to connect to it, so go ahead and connect to that notebook server. This is gonna spin up JupyterLab, uh, and once we're up in that interface in the launcher view, we wanna click on Terminal, open up a terminal session, and now we wanna git clone, uh, the uh, examples directory or the examples repo inside of the Qflow project. And once that uh, uh, directory or repo is downloaded, we can click on examples and then locate the house prices uh, folder, click on that. And then we wanna find the KFP notebook, the Qflow pipelines notebook. And let's go ahead and get some real estate here. So the first thing we wanna do is uncomment the pip install line because we wanna install uh, KFP or Qflow pipelines. And once that's successfully installed, and you can see that uh, at the bottom of the output, ready to now import uh, our function uh, to container uh, component. And then we're ready to import our packages, pandas, sklearn, and a variety of other packages. We're now ready to move on to the next portion of the notebook, which is gonna be our download data component, run that. Next, we move on to the next section of the notebook, which is gonna be the load and pre-processing uh, data. So run that notebook as well as the code that's gonna create a component for us. Next, we go to the creating data uh, with features component, run that as well as uh, the creation of the function that's gonna create a component for us. Then we move on to the train data section of the notebook, run that piece of code in order to uh, create that function for us. And then of course, run uh, the code that's gonna turn that function into a pipeline component. Then we move to the evaluate data uh, portion of the notebook, run that piece of code, as well as the uh, code that will turn that function into uh, a component. Then we move on to defining the function that implements the pipeline, go ahead and run that. Uh, and then now we're ready to hit the last uh, portion of the notebook, which is going to be our client instantiation. So here what we wanna do is that we want to modify uh, the URL so that it actually points to the uh, data.zip file that's actually up on uh, GitHub. Uh, so once that is done, we can go ahead and run it. And you can see we've got two hyperlinks, experiment details and run details. Let's click on run details, and this takes us directly to the uh, runtime execution graph inside of the Qflow uh, UI. And you can see our first step has already executed, which is downloading of the data. Second step has already executed. That's where we load and pre-process the data. Now we see that we're in the feature uh, data component, which is just completed. Then we move on to our second to last component, which is the training data component. And then finally, our evaluate uh, data component. And that's it. You have successfully created a Qflow pipeline using the KFP SDK for the house prices Kaggle competition.